hello on Monday the 21st of December, the shortest day. Mum always used to look very carefully what time it went to dark on the shortest day and then at the paper the next day to see how much longer daylight we were supposed to get. But good morning to you all and uh, I hope you've had a good weekend. And whatever you've got planned for today, may the Lord be with you. Our opening prayer. God of the living word, open our ears to your message. Open our eyes to see your wonders, our hearts to experience your love, and open our minds to your wisdom today and every day. Amen. And today's readings are from Isaiah chapter 52, verses 13 to 15. And the second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verses 1 to 12. A cup which is partially full of liquid has for many years been used as an image relating to the way that someone views life. The same amount of liquid can be looked at as a cup half empty or a cup half full. Someone with a downbeat and rather gloomy outlook will be associated with seeing the cup as half empty. However, in general, I'm a cup half full person, tending towards optimism and being as positive as possible. And this means that for me, there is a sense of discovery throughout my life. God might know what he wants for me, but in the main, I don't. And we discover bit by bit what's going to happen. Effectively, we haven't got a clue what's going to be happening in 12 months time. Perhaps that's a good thing, but it also makes life very interesting. There are a few people whose lives are mapped out for them. And a couple of days ago, I spoke about the royal line. And perhaps more than most members of the royal family have a clear idea what is expected of them in the future. Although even they don't know the exact details of their ongoing life and there are still choices and options which need to be made. Jesus was someone who knew what was expected of him. The image of the Christingle reminds us that Jesus was born in order to die for us. Today's short passage from Isaiah has the subheading, Suffering and Glory. These are prophetic words from God which speak about what will happen to Jesus, the Messiah. At the start of this passage, we find the phrase, he will be raised and lifted up. They wouldn't know when these words were first spoken that that is effectively an image of Jesus being raised on the cross. Although his subsequent resurrection and ascension are also about Jesus being raised, but this time in glory. And all of this is at the very heart of Jesus' growth to bring humans back to God. St. Peter at the start of his second letter picks up on the importance of Jesus' divine power. And it is through this that humans have all they need in order to live godly lives based on faith and goodness. I now come to our first prayer. Lord God, we continue to pray about the spread of the coronavirus and we ask that you will stop 
the ongoing rate of spread, both in this country and throughout the whole world. We know the uncertainty and the pressures that this virus has brought to people's lives. And Lord, we ask that into that uncertainty and pressure, you will bring a peace. So Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For today's prayer points, let's ask God to help us to see him at work in our lives and around us. Let's pray for anyone who is feeling disappointed at present. And let's pray for everyone who has to work over the Christmas period. And I'll come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Before I come to our blessing, an important notice, because tonight at 7.30, our virtual community carol service will be posted on this Facebook page and I think will be picked up by various other sites in the areas. So do please join us for virtual community carols. It's as close as we could get to our normal community carol service which we hold in the working men's club. I now come to our final blessing. God is with you, a light to your path, a companion on the road, a friend on the journey, a sure support and presence at all times. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you all today and evermore. Amen.